bring our new animals in here, Eastern Browns. And this one. Okay, and that one we'll send over here. Nice, okay, good stuff. This is the Eastern Brown. This is the Gila. There we go. Now, what I want to do, ooh, let's just see. This needs to be, we need to set this a little higher. And that's slightly lower. Okay, that's quite happy right there. Let's see over here. This needs to be up high quite a lot. That needs to be dehumidified a fair bit. Just want to see how we go there. I'll, I'll do the, uh, the back panels and stuff like that now. Perfect, so they're quite happy over there. Now, let's see the back panel. We'll do like the 3D facade at the back over there. Similarly over here, let's quickly check our windows. And we'll get the 3D facade at the back over there. So hopefully everybody's quite happy with that. What I would like us to do is just make sure that we get the uh, the various facilities that we need, like um, this and that over there, so that they can at least provide that. And then I'm also keen on getting some more bins going on. So uh, there are some bins in this area, but let's grab an extra bin right there. Let's see about grabbing some bins as we go along the way here. Something like that. Uh, maybe as you come out over there, get a bin or as you go in. Hopefully that uh, that does the trick a little bit. I want to pop in here and just make sure that we are providing um, the rec room perk over here. Good. Uh, okay, so we've got another stressed spring block over here. I think we've got more 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 little offspring going on. Ah, okay, so lots of little warthogs going on. Um, and they'll slowly age. To be honest, we can probably try and keep some of our warthogs. Build an aquarium? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Some lemurs, we've got these guys going on. Any new adults here? Slowly coming in, but no no fresh new adults. I'll try and get, get the others out of the way. These are pretty good. What's going on over here? Zoo is high amounts of litter, so I probably need another caretaker. We'll grab that now. Okay, let's quickly have a look at the staff that we've got. Um, let's go through our overlays quickly. Animal welfare, temperatures seems to be okay, water is fine, power is good, buildings, what is this? What does this mean? No idea what that actually means. Oh, unhappy, that's what it means. Negative impact on guests. Oh, litter over here. That's interesting. We need, definitely need another caretaker. Uh, these are all okay. Not close to anybody. Yeah, we need some more education pieces over here also. Happiness and staff. Okay, perfect. Okay, more. Wow, look at that. Another caretaker. Definitely another caretaker. Yeah, come on, pick up the stuff over there, please. That is terrible. Oh, 
Okay. Lots of little animals running around over here. Just need to uh, start selling some of them. Okay, maybe we can get a couple of animals for, uh, for for cash. So let's go to animal trading. If we say, ooh, those guys aren't too bad. Let's just uh, clear off this guy and we'll say conservation. And we'll do that. Let's quickly move our way through here. Maybe we can get a decent animal here as the next one. Sable so antelopes aren't, the, aren't bad, but I'm looking for something um, fairly impressive, like a, like a wolf, or a leopard, or a tiger, or something. Uh, Ring-tailed lemurs. We can add them to the to the lemur enclosure. That's thirty-five. If I say ring-tailed lemurs, let's see this, because we can actually get them to go together. Ring-tailed lemurs. R, R, R. Ring-tailed lemurs. If I look at that and I filter this, what do, what do we get? Lots of males, but no females. I mean, look at this. That's crazy. Females are pricey. Pricey, we can get this guy. Or that one. Or even this one. Okay, let's uh, forget about the lemurs for now. So let's cancel that. Clear that out and go back through this, run through this again. Yeah, I have no idea how you would go about building a building an aquarium. A dolphin? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you can get stuff like that. Maybe in a DLC. Okay, what are we getting? What are we getting? I'm looking for something impressive. American bison. Ooh, these are pretty good. Gerials. Let's have a look at them. Let's have a look at them. Gee, Gariel. So like, like little crocodile things. Male and female. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow, pretty low fertility on some of these. Wow, really low fertility actually. I can't afford most of this. Can we get a decent fertility male like that? Yeah, let's do that one. Get it for like 49. We'll adopt that one. It's not the best gene. So we've got that one. And then what I want to do is I want to go and say, well, give me a cash listing for the female. No, none? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so we've got a male, want a female. Whoa! Really? We can't? Okay, well, we'll have to keep looking. This one? Yeah, not good. Not good. Um, so I think let's, uh, let's build like a bit of a habitat for them. So what I thought we might do, right, can we... Can we go and get a staff path that actually runs underneath here? So if we link that. Okay, so let's leave it like that for now. That's actually pretty good. And I was thinking right over here, we'll do a bit of a bit of an area. So in here, actually, what we'll do is we'll get a normal path, this path. Okay, we'll bring it in uh, like two meters like this. And then all of a sudden we'll do and no, 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 not in terms of we'll just do we'll just do something like that. And this is going to be the viewing area. Uh, 
Uh, ooh, snap to angle. Ooh, what we also need is maybe let's get the curbs dropped. Can I try this again? Let's just go back, align to grid. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, let's try it the other way around. Let's uh, get rid of that and that section and that. And then we'll align it to grid over here. Yes, that's what I want. I want something like that. And then I just want a very basic, like, let's say a five meter one. That we just kind of slowly tie in over there. Yes, that's what I want. That is what I want. Okay, now, in terms of this, I want this like a water area over here. A roundabout in a zoo? Yeah, we're going to try and sell something as soon as we can. That is the plan. We're constantly looking to see if we've got animals that we can go ahead and sell. Any of these are uh, adults? Not yet. Nothing over here. Um, some of these should be... That's also bad. What I can do is I'll, I'll try and release this one. Animal has a condition preventing its release? Really? Why? Why does some of these not want to be released? Oh, I actually purchased them. That is why. Um, okay, so some of these are unfortunately that's uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's move that one to the uh, to the center. Got our own ones over here. Okay, well, let's quickly have a look. If we go to the Animal Trading Center, see what we're... Yeah, yeah, I, I bought that one. That's exactly right. Yeah, so I can't actually, but I can... Yeah, anyway, I want to get rid of one of these so I can just make use of the others. This animal can't be exchanged after the option. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I just want to get rid of one of them. Um, these should be growing up pretty soon. We should get to the 71 pretty quickly. Common warthogs. Yeah, our animals aren't growing that quickly, to be honest. Okay, so what I'm keen on is if I go and say... Want to do something like that, right? Okay, so if we do something like this, right? And now if I... If I continue to run that like so, actually we probably need to make it even higher. I'm just thinking about it. We probably need to make it even higher. Who's uh, has been traded out, has matured, has matured. So we've got some more matured animals. Let's just quickly have a look. No one there. Yeah, so these is matured. So we can probably sell one of these. Let's uh, release. Oh, we can't. Oh, we can. We can. So let's release that one. Yeah, we definitely can. Excellent. So let's release that one. 
Okay, that's good. So now what we can do is we can actually go back and see about getting, um, we have the male, right? Let's just see, we have the male. So let's get a female. Oh, 137. So we're not quite there yet. Anyway, let's build the, uh, let's build the enclosure and we'll see about the rest of it. So if I bring this up to like four meters. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and not, oh, come on. Okay, so the idea is that you can see them from there. And if you go down here, you will actually be able to. Um, so I'll go up to about there, do a very similar thing right over here. And now <clears throat> we'll get the glass and we'll uh, start the running the glass over here. Something like this. Okay, that is exactly the case. So now we'll do some water up along this edge so that they can see the animals in there. That is the plan. And they can also see um, the others up here. So what we need to do is we really need to start terraforming this area. Uh, we could, in fact, do some... Hmm. So if we do something like that as a starting point, and then we'll try and smooth things a little bit. So let's uh, let's do that as a start, and then we'll well, firstly we'll start smoothing it around a little bit. I think that's okay. Doesn't necessarily have to run up onto the edges there. Oh, the one thing that we definitely need to think about is this. Yeah, that's not actually going to work, is it? <laughs> that's not going to work. Oh, we've got some red, uh, red roughed lemur offspring. That'll be pretty good for us, I think. Yeah, this is not quite what I had in mind. This is not quite what I had in mind. So we can't actually run that up to the edge then. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly edit this again. Edit the barriers. So let's get rid of this. Those ones. Now I'm quickly going to um, do the terrain here. Okay, and if we smooth it down here, yeah, the uh, the guy should be able to get up there. Okay, perfect. So let's... Um Bring this up here. We'll smooth it down in all of these areas. Okay, and now the idea is that we'll need to extend our, our barrier here. So if I go and say, can I edit that barrier, please? And we'll just want to go and... Okay, 
So if we do something like that, I believe we should be able to do water in most of this. Uh, ooh, we may have to do a very similar thing over here. Let's uh, let's just up our terrain pieces over here. Yeah, we'll have to uh, just uh, edit that. Let's get rid of like two of these sections through here. Yeah, so an interesting thing. I didn't quite know that it's that important to do the terrain first. But it's uh, it's obviously quite quite important. So if I do that and I put the I put our barriers back in. So if we run that through there. I believe that should work now, right? In terms of getting water in here. Let's just smooth this little surface. So that can quite easily get in and out of there. Leave that should be okay. Let's smooth some of this stuff. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Now, if I go and grab water, that's the plan. So if I grab water, what we'll see is can we that's valid so we can put water in there quite easily so these guys can can comfortably see in here the all the animals in there now the question is do we need maybe we can uh, raise this up a little bit more here Now, can we get a little bit more water in? Yes, we can. And that is the plan. I think that is enough water for these guys to see that. And I, I hope that's enough other other areas. Okay, so now we're seeing some of our Indian pea fowls um, getting older uh, or maturing. So that's be good. To be honest, I think I'm going to just get rid of the rest of this barrier. Just so that we, um... oh, look at that. That looks just weird. Okay, so what I'll do is let's uh, try the terrain a little bit. So if I smooth it out. In these spots here. Um, okay, so let's uh, quickly pop into our animals just for a second. So let's pause it just a second and see what's going on. Um, okay, so that so we need to provide additional female warthogs. So we'll, we can at least get rid of the males. It's only the one. And then we'll have to get rid of that one at some point. So let's uh, release that one to the wild. That gives us a little bit. Uh, I believe we've got some mature pea fowls over here that we can get rid of. Okay, so that's a new male over there. That's an older one, the one that we brought in. I believe we can still go a little bit, but let's get... If we get rid of these... And to be honest, probably that one. Uh, we don't want males, but we'd, we'd rather keep an extra female. Let's keep that an extra female. So we'll get rid of those. Extra four that we can get rid of. Let's do that. It's an extra 40. That gives us a little bit more to go on. Okay, now if we go to animal trading... And we'll double check those uh, those ones. Can we now get a female for a decent price? <laughs> Still not at all, huh? That is just weird. Okay, let's double check our... Oh, we've got uh, some new um, lemurs over here. Brand new baby key, babies. People like them quite a lot. Um, anyone's here that we can get rid of? That's a new one. That's a brand new one. 
Should probably get rid of this one. Okay. And some more offspring over there. Okay, let's uh, continue our, our build. And I'm kind of tempted to make this a little bigger. So if I say, so if I click there. Because I know these guys have tons of babies and so it's better to probably have a little bit more room in here. So I'll expand it just a little bit more. can hardly see anything. Okay, I think that should do the trick. So let's uh, quickly ex uh, edit our barrier and... And extend that. Um, okay, so for this, are we angle snapping? Yes, we are. Oh, a fine for protesters? Oh, that's not good. No, that's not right. Come back. Try that, come back from this side. Okay, diseased animal discovered. Oh no. Okay, and we'll uh, end it off a little bit like that. So there's going to be a little bit of room for the hard shelter over there. I think that should be pretty good. Can we smooth things out a little bit? I didn't think this Asia thing through at all. Considering we're, it's, it's raining constantly. Habitat cleanliness. Where? Oh my goodness. Do we need more keepers? What's going on? Let's get another keeper going on. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. Get the keeper in there. How many keepers do we have? Two vets. We probably need another vet too. Let's get another vet. Okay, let's double check. Oh, our money is at least doing really well. So release that one to the wild. I'm not sure we're going to get much for that one. We need to keep one of our new males that's coming in. Because that one's not going to be fertile much longer. Okay, tons of uh, snakes over here. Make sure to send them away. We can't get any conservation credits for them, unfortunately. Let's uh, we've moved them. We've got that sorted out. These will probably take a little bit of time just to grow up. These ones probably need a new... Um, oh, he's already there. Okay, that's about it. Okay, let's get into the animal trading piece over here. So this one, we'll just do the quick trade there. Thank you. The other one, okay, let's uh, let's actually check to see if we can get a female one now. For a, it's just crazy that sometimes you struggle big time with them. Um, oh yeah, and we're doing everything we can. So there's no cash, nothing. 
136. Okay, actually. Can we uh, just double check that? My, uh, my, my filters was just wrong. That's not great. 136 over there. I'm grabbing that one. Oh, 33 years. Mm, I think that can... I hope it's okay. The... Uh, just want to see how long they... Um, they remain fertile. Okay, yes, so um, so there is at least some uh, at least <laughs> fifteen or something years left for those for those ones. Okay, we can bring them in now. Let's bring them in. Okay, let's bring in the other one. Excellent. What's going on? Call a mechanic. Do I need more mechanics? I'll grab another mechanic. Okay, that's good. Let's get the staff that we need. Okay, so once uh, these guys are in here, okay, let's uh, let's quickly have a look. So they need uh, less long grass, more short grass. Okay, we need a fair bit of rock. Let's get some rough rock around here on around these edges. This actually works quite nicely as a bit of a rock. Okay, that's going to be just fine. Get some rock in there. Maybe a little bit of, of rock in here. Kind of looks nice as a bit of rock. Um, they need a fair bit of sand. So in this area, as you get in and out, maybe a little bit of sand. And even down here could be quite good as sand. Tie that in a little bit like so. Excellent. So now they probably need, uh, they need some coverage. They need a hard shelter. They don't need a hard shelter. Okay. That's fine. The water should be just fine for them. Fair bit of space here. So they need some coverage. They would like some aquatic and um, Asia, aquatic and temperate and tropical. So let's quickly get that. Not um, Asia, Asia instead, so continents Asia. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab some stuff like that. Just a little bit in the way there, probably. Let's see about squeezing in some stuff over here. There we go. It's a fair bit of that going on. Okay, any... A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Let's get some bushes in here. See if that helps us out a little bit. Okay, that's good. They love the plants. Now, we would like some um, aquatic plants also. Can we get a little tamarind tree right over there? Oh, they love that one. We do love that tree, so that's okay. We'll leave that tree over there. That's good. Now, we do need... What I would like us to do is grab um, the biome to be aquatic. So we'll get a little bit of, um, like, lilies and stuff going on over here. Right there, right there. Yeah, that'll, that'll work quite nicely, maybe even up in there. That's be good. Okay. Any other aquatic pieces? Common lily. Slightly bigger. We'll just do that. Okay, so now there's a fair bit of lilies over there. Let's grab one more set of lilies right there. That's good. Okay, excellent. I think that should be enough. Um, they wouldn't mind more coverage. Really, they wouldn't. So let's... Um, let's do some more... 
bushy areas over there. And what we'll do is we'll also grab a little bit of this over there, see if that works out a little bit. Uh, what we could do is we could run little bits and pieces all along, or some of these edges at least. I like a fair bit of that going on. Uh, can we get some rocks in here maybe? Asia rocks, dynamic moss, all these kind of things. What other rocks do we have? Taiga, temperate, tropical, some tropical rocks. So let's, um, let's see about getting some rocks at least. Hopefully they like that area a little bit more. Um, that's maybe too big. Slightly smaller rocks right over here. Okay, I think that should kind of do the trick. What else are we missing? Their welfare isn't great because um, they need enrichment and obviously they need some food pieces. Uh, we'll double check some of the other animals now. Okay, so from a habitat point of view, let's get rid of this and we'll um, go to the species, the gharial. I think that's what it's called, the gharial. Um, so we'll get one of those over there. We'll get a little bit of a mud, uh, mud area right there. In terms of food. And large food tray, maybe somewhere where people can kind of see it. Right over here, maybe. So these guys can have a look down there and they can have their food over there. And that should be okay. So now we've got this going on. These guys can be looking at that. Okay, let's uh, grab the facilities that we need. I wouldn't mind. Okay, let's get... That one in place. We'll get these ones. This is the Gario. And we'll be sure to grab some of this. We also need these guys to be able to do that from up here. But next to that, we probably need a bin or two. And I would also like to get a little bit of these educational speakers going on here. And then we probably need to also Start, uh, thinks the tickets are underpriced. That's excellent to know. Okay, that's pretty good. So people are now paying quite nice uh, prices over there. Excellent. Let's uh, quickly run through the animals that we've got. It uh, takes a bit of, a bit of to get, um, to get all of this underway. So these guys will have to get some of these to grow up. Man, we've got tons. Oh, we need to, uh, Get, get rid of some of these. Let's quick trade some of them. Okay. Animals. Peafowls. Lots of peafowls. Any of these that's um, of age? Not quite yet. Any of these? That's our new one. And those are fine. I'll, I'll trade this one. The release to the wild. Excellent. Then, wow, so many. Okay, let's um, let's quickly get the common war dog sorted out here. And then, okay, that guy, he's going to be released to the wild. We'll have to keep one of these. That one, Malawa. Okay, so let's release him. Getting very limited numbers. Um, the other piece that I wanted to check is just our... Um, okay, yeah, we sorted that out. 
These are slowly growing up. Takes them a while to reach maturity. We've got our new, our new um, kind of alligatory things in there. Okay, let's just rename this exhibit. I do like the idea of having people able to watch from above and also have a look in the water from underneath here. What we do, however, need to do is probably get them some form of seating. Actually, we can probably do... Oh, our Gauriel is about to have offspring. Well, that's great. Very good to know, but it'll take them... Takes a fair bit of time. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually add our little path here. Let's grab this path, do it nice and narrow. We'll just do it in there so you can actually see it from that side too. Similarly over here, let's try and add a path over here. Nice. And this is going to be the Gila Monster. Look, we've got baby little uh, thingies, whatever they call they're called. Gorials. Nice. Okay. People are saying we're uh, we're underpriced, so let's uh, up that number to like 16 and 16 and 9. Good. We're finishing some uh, research over here. Takes some time for us to get through some of this. Excellent. We've done the lemur stuff. Okay. Let's quickly start working on the Gorials over here. That'll be good. We probably need these guys also. What is going on? We probably need more keepers. Let's just get more keepers going on. We've got enough money now. Uh, let's ensure we've got sufficient keepers to make um, our habitats nice and cleanly. Look at all these people. What are they? Oh, yeah. People are donating quite a lot. Mm, now, shall we? Yeah, I think it's okay for now. Where we're doing that. Uh, do we have? Hang on. I just double check our water stuff. Ah, see, so this area is not getting clean water. So we need to provide... Uh, yeah, we can't do something in there because the guys will actually have issues with it. What we can, however, do is we can do it like a small little exhibit over here. Let's get a path, a staff one. Actually, I think we're using that. Uh, we'll snap to angle. Okay, so we'll do that as a starting point. Uh, let's extend it a little more. Let's just say flatten the terrain as you go through here. That's perfect. So now with that, let's get the facilities in here. We'll get, um, get the water. Um, in there. Wow, I can't see anything. So over here we can have like a little tortoise exhibit or something that's pretty small um, that these guys can have a look at from here and from here. Some animals that's about to mature. Another hydrate. Leon, thank you so much. We also need to make sure that we uh, have more lights and stuff like that also.
Okay, so we've got some war talks that's maturing. So let's have a look. And um, some red rough lemurs. Let's see if we can get some um, some stuff going on here. So if we go with the warthogs first. Okay, let's pop out of there. Let's that just all the messages is finished. Finish. Okay, now pop back in here. Okay, let's just filter it and just get the common warthogs by themselves. And then we'll move it by maturity. So we've got females and a male. Okay, that's pretty good. So we could potentially start getting rid of some of these. Let's get rid of one of the older ones and one of the younger ones. It's going to be fine. We'll release them to the wild. Gives us a little bit more to go on. Then we go back in here and this time around we'll say species is going to be the red ruffed lemur. Okay, so now most of these guys are now... That one we're going to hang on to, but this one I think we're going to get rid of. Let's quickly go in here. I just wanted to double check um, the lemurs, red ruffed lemur, red ruffed lemur. Uh, sexual sterility is at about 20 years of age, but they're up to one male and 29 females. So we can't do multiple males. So that's the thing. Okay, so let's go clear. We go back in here. Pop in there with the red ruffed lemurs. Who are we going to get rid of? We're going to get rid of you. Can go up to about 20. So you still have plenty of time. These do not. So let's definitely get rid of you. Release to the wild. Oh yeah, 49. That's not bad. Okay, excellent. Now, let's see. I think we've got some more of these. Let's get the warthogs back. Common warthogs. Get rid of that one. And probably that one's okay. Then we'll keep this one. And then once that one's done, okay, anyway, let's release these two more. Well, that's very little. Up, up uh, beyond 122 now. Let's quickly double check what's going on with our bee fowls. In terms of maturity, we've got, we should have about three. Yeah, that's, that's about the right. So these others are going to start maturing soon and then we can start getting rid of them. That should be good. Um, also, Let's just have a look at what's going on with the spring box for a second. Right there. Okay, so that's a young one. Pretty good, pretty good. A little older. Will we be getting rid of one of these? That one maybe? Rather this one. Let's do that. Let's release that one, see what we get. That's another 20 right over there. Okay, that's excellent. A lot more. Nice. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Okay, so things are moving along. There's another red draft lemur that's about to mature. That's good to know. Claim a reward there. Claim a reward there. What's going on over here? Some research is getting done. Excellent. That's good to know. Working our way through the barriers. That's excellent. Okay. Now, if we have a look at our zoo overview, our animal welfare is really good. I am liking, to, liking that. Probably time for another 
Another, okay, probably time for another security guard. Let's quickly grab one. That is good. Okay, now let's see. We've got some more animals that just matured. Let's pop in there a little bit. Yeah, this guy, we're uh, definitely getting rid of that one. And we're getting rid of that one too. I think that's going to be just fine. At least those two to the wild. For the 14 there, not too great. Then, in terms of our lemurs, now I think we're going to keep them. We might get rid of this older one over here. Let's try and get rid of that one. That's fine. Excellent. Things are popping back up. No problem. Okay, excellent. Spectre's report is ready. Ooh, some of our habitats aren't great. Oh, I need to just rename some of them still. Um, so if I go over here. This is the lemur. What is the, um, what are the alerts here? What's the problem? Toy enrichment. Really? We need more enrichment here? I would imagine they could get out. We've got pretty much the interspecies bonus. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we've got your habitat and we say lemur. Red rough lemur. Got a fair bit of uh, a musical keyboard, a ball. One of these guys. Let's uh, let's pop one of these guys out over here somewhere. Got a fair bit of stuff. Let's uh, yeah, let's pop one of them right over there. I think that should be okay. Wow, so a lot of people are rushing through there all the time. Okay. And the other one that I was kind of thinking about is the Gariel. We should have now some stuff that we can put in there. Got that one. I could do with a ball, it seems. So let's uh, give them a bit of a ball there. Let's give them... Some bedding right in the middle of it there. It's nothing else really. Still working on it. Okay, so research is underway. Vet research. Let's see how that's going. Slowly. Excellent. That's the end of barriers. So with barriers in place, let's start moving, working on habitats. Okay, we've got another one. This one we will want to um, release to the wild. Nice. Now we're back up to about 200 yet again. So that's excellent. So now we can start looking at what the next animal should be. We are um, doing, a, I think, a pretty decent job. I wouldn't mind something like a, a, a tortoise or something says so overpriced now, really. Okay, no need for gharials anymore. Okay, let's have a look. Flamingos? They're not, they haven't got a very big appeal. I know we kind of talked about flamingos last time. What else? What else do we do? Komodo dragons? OK, 
Komodo dragons. Another Komodo dragon? We could do Komodo dragons. What is the size that they need? Oh, they need a pretty sizable area, actually. A pretty sizable area. And then in terms of one or two, so we can just do with one, up to one male, up to one female. The area they need is a little bit too big. I want something that we can fit just squeeze in here. So maybe Komodo dragons are not the ones for us. keep going ostriches I feel ostriches need a little bit bigger area as well Nile monitors how, how big do they need how big do they need Nile monitors what is it data deficient they don't know a slightly smaller area um Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's get Nile monitors in here. So animal trading, pop in here, species, Nile monitors. Let's see what we can get. Male and female, male. Female, actually pretty good, both of them. This one, oh yeah, that's even a younger one. Mm, slightly more expensive though, but that's fine. We'll adopt that one. And I would like a male. That one is pretty good. We'll grab that one. Excellent. So now we've got two Nile monitors. I believe this area should be good enough for that. So let's uh, get a little bit of a habitat barrier going on over here. We'll just... Um, Kind of squeeze it in. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, and now... And we'll do glass. Oh, we've got two-way glass now, but that's okay. We don't need two-way glass for these guys. We'll curve it like that. Uh, probably shorten it a little bit. Okay, then we'll go back to the wooden logs. Then we'll go back to the glass. Actually, we'll do one more row of the logs and then we'll do the glass. There we go. That should do the trick. What's the size of this? What is the size of this? 532. I hope that's enough size. Diseased animal discovered? No! Okay, so now let's bring in those animals that we've just got, those monitors of ours. Bring them in here, the other one as well. Oh my goodness, we're over! <laughs> the stream is supposed to have ended! <laughs> okay guys, well what I'm going to do is we will probably continue this one in the, uh, in the next stream. So we've got our monitors coming in and we have, uh, we're have we doing a fair bit. I would like to put a few more trees and things in here, but it's a good starting point for us. So we'll, uh, we'll keep going on this one. I am enjoying it quite a lot and I think you can do such amazing looking zoos ultimately. 
Um, we've got decent amounts of money. We've got um, a lot of animals in here that's actually allowing us to grow our conservation credits. So that is absolutely amazing. So we'll, we'll continue that in the next one. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button, leave comments, tell me in the Discord, all those kind of good things. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.